someone asked me, why don't you sell? People are starting to sell their businesses and retire. I'm like, I'm so not done. I grew up in Aspen, Colorado in the 70s and 80s. There was so much that was not normal. And we always say, you can't write this shit. My birth father was killed. His girlfriend shot him over the fact that they were going to break up. He was a US ski team alpine racer named Spider Savage. I was dragged around a lot. It was very normal to be the only kid at something. And I was really fortunate to have adults around me that empowered me. My goal with Public was to build a space where people could gather, network, and make cool things happen for our city. To bring the coffee side into it was kind of just this perfect integration. It's very easy to create a space when you look at it from the customer lens. Each location has its own culture and its own personality, and that's driven by the employees. I think one of the biggest triumphs is building the team, because my employees are what makes it happen. So 2020 really just exposed how we take care of each other. My employees, some of them were having real mental breakdown. You'd see an Instagram story of someone taking a walk with a coworker, and I was like, okay, this is good. I feel really lucky to have the employees that I do and work with the demographic that I do because I get an education all the time about what are people talking about, what are people experiencing. My feeling of being responsible for my people and making sure that they are okay. The workspace can be capitalistic, but it can also be a place to learn, grow, develop skills, be kind to each other, learn about each other, engage with employees and coworkers that are different from you. Food & Wine named Public the best coffee roaster in Utah, and my roastery team was kind of like, but why? And I'm like, because you guys are really good at your job. What I care about are people. We need to provide them a foundation to go off and be great, that fill them up and that they can feel passionate about. If I could do one thing differently, I think I would get closer to the coffee. Being able to actually turn the machine on and make a beautiful latte with beautiful latte art. I hope that people remember me as someone that saw them and heard them. That's all. <laughs>